Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm at Lowe's Hardware in Lano, Texas, or excuse me, Marble Fall. And that's my notepad because I'm going to make some notes on some prices and stuff so I can start figuring out what all this stuff is going to cost me. All of that yellow, well, you may not be able to tell in the video, but all of this yellowish looking or golden looking stuff is hardy board, and that's a concrete stuff for siding exterior. And, and it's very heavy is the only downside. Th these sheets right here are four by eight sheets. You can see this piece is broken right here. And that's the only problem with hardy board is if it's not handled properly, see it's concrete, okay, uh, then it breaks. But once you get it up, it's pretty sturdy. A four by eight sheet shows to be $40 for that uh, three eighths inch looks like. And then you can buy the hardy board planks the advantages of hardy board based on what I've seen are it's basically not flammable and it is a good exterior long lasting siding. Uh, you can get it painted. I don't see any here painted. All of this has to be painted unless you just want to use this boring looking color. But uh, anyway, a sheet, as I said, was these are this is $40 a sheet. So, and I have, that's four by eight. My house will be 14 feet wide by 28 feet long. So I've got two 28 feet front and back, 56 feet plus uh, 28 feet would be 84 feet linear feet. Plus, you know, I'm gonna use a, a gable roof. So you gotta fill in that little diamond there. So, you know, we'll say just round numbers. I know they ain't gonna be right, but let's say you had a hundred linear feet so you'd need, oh, 25 of these boards would be 1,000 bucks, right? Roughly, if that's even close. But yeah, this is hardy board, and then there's other sidings you can use, vinyl siding, you can use actual wood siding, uh, you can use plywood and cover it with something if you want to, I guess. I mean, there's, but I plan on using hardy board. Now, whether I will go with planks or not is hard to say. Uh, this hardy board down here shows to be $53 a sheet and as long as somebody knows how to handle it and as you put it up before it goes up reasonably quick and uh, it looks pretty good and it's long lasting so that's the siding that's one 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 deal on the siding and then of course over here you've got vinyl siding uh, and it's probably a, may, might be a little more economical uh, because it's lightweight, easier to handle. The downside of, of vinyl here in this area, for me, is uh, hail, hailstones will uh, get, give it hail. <laughs> so that could be an issue. And then as far as, uh, well, this is some insulation. It's called PolyPro, and it's a foam insulation. And whether I'll use something like that or not, that's kind of up to the builder. But I'm considering using it's called house wrap okay and we're just going to walk around and look at a variety of things because i'm just killing time because i'm supposed to meet a guy for lunch at 11 30 and it's about nine nine o'clock okay so do i have plenty of time to look yep 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 you know and, and for it, it again let me let me and as far as um, insulation i just mentioned that stuff back there they got all kinds and then of course they got house wrap you can use you know you can wrap your house with some stuff and then you can use the uh, the uh, bats of uh, fiberglass insulation and uh, you know that usually works pretty good and and here's some wood here these are just four by eight sheets of uh, paneling that you, you could use this on the inside actually you use it on the exterior too but you got to paint it and that is $35 a sheet and uh, that's yeah it's a four by eight foot sheet this right here you can't really tell much about it in this lighting but yeah that's a possible for inside maybe I don't know uh, just to give it a wood look kind of a cabin look and as far as uh, other options let's go over here and look We've got lumber everywhere <laughs> uh, but the prices of lumber I'm not uh, shocked uh, at all I mean it looks uh, it, it's higher than it has been I, I, I can see that but I'm not uh, blown away by it 
Uh, here we go over here. Let's look. I want to look at some shingles, roofing shingles, because I plan on just using the, uh, uh, what do they call them, asbestos, or whatever you want to call them. If I can see, I thought I'd see some samples here. Uh, I don't see any. I see some shingles and, uh, you know, ready to be hauled up on the roof, but I don't see any I can look at to tell me much about them. But what I plan to go with is just a light color. Uh, see, here's a light color, a tan, uh, inexpensive. Well, let's see how much of those are square. Uh, th these on top, well, these are $36 a square here. And a square is what? I don't know. But that's a tan color. I'd actually like to go with kind of a lighter color that has a blue-gray, light-white finish. Here you go, right here. Maybe like this. Yeah, there you go, right there. Something like that. And these are uh, $36 a square. So, you know, how many squares are on the roof? I don't know. But probably something like that because the metal roof, while it is nice, and I have thought of, oh, here you go, right here. Here's what it kind of looks like right here. See how that would look? And this is the one. No, that's that's a little too dark for this area. You know, I'm in Texas, and I don't need a dark colored roof. I'd rather have a light colored roof. Yeah, here's here's a kind of a tan color right here. But again, that's just giving me some ideas of prices. So, yeah, the, the composite, what do they call these things? Uh, laminated, how about this, laminated architectural sh shingles. Uh, three bundles covers 98 square feet. Uh, limited war lifetime, limited lifetime warranty. Now, what in the hell does that mean? <laughs> it basically means they'll cover anything, I think. So, yeah, that takes care of the roof. I want to look at some uh, interior stuff. We're going to look at toilets and stuff. I'm just killing time, like I said. Yeah, you put this this uh, paper underneath the the. Uh, roofing material and it makes a pretty good seal on the roof and it's quiet it's much quieter than metal i can tell you that that's another downside of metal the good the upside of metal it's a lifetime roof and uh, fire resistant or basically fireproof let's see what else i can show you here guys let's go down here and look at some plain old two before i don't need many of those see that's the thing about building a small home uh, none of your material requirements are very uh, big. I mean, I, I, uh, let's see what a regular 2 before is. They don't have a price, I don't think. This is a 2 by 8 by 8. That's a 2 by 8. And uh, it doesn't, here it is. It, uh, 2 by 8. 2 by 8 by 8 is $8.72. That's a 2 by 8. I'm looking for just plain old 2 by 4s. And that's not treated, that's just plain old pine lumber. Isn't this fun though? Just to just walk around here dreaming? <laughs> I ain't got a damn thing to do. I mean, I'm just building a house in my mind. Here's a two by four by 10. Do I need any of those? Not really. Uh, a two by four by 10 is free. There's no price on it. They put the prices in the craziest places. You can't find them. So, you know, and if I ever have a business, if I ever had one, or I've had them before, but not recently. Ah, uh, okay. The, the, the two by four by tens are seven dollars and thirty-four cents each. That's for a two by four by ten. And here's a two by six. I still haven't found plain old two by four. Here's a two by four by uh, hundred and four. Let's see, eight feet would be ninety-six. So we got to go down some more. Okay, here is, what is this? Here's a two by 10 by eight. No, I'm not. Uh, oh, here's two by fours right here. Two by four by eight feet. I think that's right here. There are 398, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, two by four by eight feet. Not, uh, three, uh, four dollars a board. So that's not ridiculous, you know what I mean? Hang on a minute, guys. But yeah, it's, isn't this, it's like Disney World for builders, isn't it? So, uh, again, just killing time, guys. This may be one of my 
viral videos. Let's go down and look at what else. This is all decking stuff here. You know, this stuff here is good, but it's expensive, expensive, expensive. The decking. Let's go look at. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find some interior stuff. For, I mean, even though all, any of that wood down, hell, you can use plywood on the walls on the inside, the downside of it. I mean, it looks okay, but it's definitely flammable. I mean, you're just building a, a wooden fireplace with you in it. Okay, just killing time here, guys. Let's see if I can find... Where would interior wall stuff be? Okay, so much for that. Where, where would interior paneling be? Uh, uh sounds like. I don't work this department, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, you know, just wood paneling for the for the side. You know, four by eight sheets of paneling. I thought it was right here. They used to have. That's okay. Never mind. I'll just walk around. No, this. Like this. Yeah, like this aisle. Yeah, okay. Yep. This is all insulation here, up there, all down this way. And uh, yeah, it used to be. Yeah. You know, isn't that terrible? They can't get help. Poor thing. There's windows. Well, they at least got a few windows. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, windows over here. Uh, windows with none of this. I, I don't want to cross hatch. You know what I mean? I just want a plain glass window. And uh, we'll see how that goes when we get to the windows. And what else? I don't see any paneling. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I know y'all are probably bored. Okay, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> wake up, guys. This is exciting stuff. Doors, they got plenty of doors. As far as a front door, just be a plain Jane. You know what I mean? Like this guy here. You know, there's a, well, that might be an interior door, I'm not sure. Uh, how much is it? Uh, that's $53. <clears throat> no, this is exterior doors right here. Yeah, that was $125 for a door. So yeah, that'll work for me. Whatever, the basic stuff. And as far as insulation, whatever's good. Hi. Is that the Roadrunner? <laughs> Pardon me? If you want to just move over, we'll get out of your way, sweetie. Thank sweetie? You. Yes. Well, hello. <laughs> Come on by, Roadrunner. Hi. That's a Roadrunner. <laughs> Remember that, the Coyote and the Roadrunner? I believe that's enough of the horn, lady. I mean, it's cute the first time, but after that, it gets a little boring. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. What do we got here? What is this? Ceramic wall tile. Tile. Do I want to put, do I want ceramic wall tile? You coming this way? Well, God damn. <laughs> I mean, damn customer comes in here to shop and get run over. You know, if I ran a business, all that would be done before the store opened. You understand? But that's just me. It's like at HEB grocery store, they try to get all the stalkers out of the way by 9 a.m. Okay, what is it? This is stone tile. I don't need any of that. No. Uh, <clears throat> now, here's some floor covering I could use on the concrete floor, but I'm just going to use the concrete. And then... If it becomes an issue or I want to cover it in the future, I can. You know what I mean? But you know, you can get these big old rugs. I'm just uh, right here. How much is this rug right here? Uh, what size is that? It's an eight, an eight by 10 foot rug like that would be $200. So you see, and I don't have that in my bigger house. Eight by ten just about covers all the open floor. Uh, what else we got here, guys? Let's walk over to the hardware stuff. You know what I mean? 
I'm going to look at a refrigerator too while I'm here. Uh, what is that? That's lighting. Hell, I don't have any lights. I'm going to use lamps. I'm going to get a ceiling fan though. One. One ceiling fan. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, capture unwanted particles in your air. Do I need that? No. My nose does that for me. Okay, here, here's countertop. See, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some of this. Yeah, six foot granite. What was it? Duro, Romaro, whatever it is. Six feet is 120 bucks. See, this is it right here. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna use, uh, get two of those. That give me 12 feet of countertop for 300 bucks. Yeah, we're going to get, a, it's going to be pretty inexpensive, guys. And get me a microwave for 60 bucks. And what else do I have here? I have, oh, here we go over here. I want a small, you know, look at this crap. You can't even get, look at this. I mean, can you believe this shit? I mean, hi. Okay, here's a refrigerator. That's a big one, though. I don't need one that big. Here's one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a small one right here. Uh, this is a what? It's uh, $649. It's a 14.3 cubic foot fridge. Hell, that's 10 times what I need. Don't have anything any smaller. Uh, 700 bucks for close with tax. I don't think I want to do that. We'll find something else. Uh, hell, they, they don't have small ones. Well, we'll get one. Don't worry. Old Rusty. Hell, if I got to get one out of an RV, I'll do it. Uh, we don't need any of this. Okay, all, all my cooktop stuff is just going to be plug-in countertop appliances. I'm going to get a a uh, what do they call it? A, a cook a electric oven cooktop thing, and then I'll get a two-burner electric thing, and uh, and I've got a popcorn popper already and as far as a washer and dryer boy these dad and this is what I want to get right here but it's expensive uh, this is fifteen hundred dollars for a stacking washer and dryer and uh, that's a lot of money particularly when you can buy a set of these regular thing I just don't have the space you know, see what I mean well that's that's pretty big in there and the washer yeah, that's okay not bad, 1500 bucks, but if I have 1500 bucks, maybe. If I don't, I won't. But it is pretty, I mean, and it fit right in that space. I mean, I've got a space set aside for stacking washer and dryer. And, uh, no, it, it, we're going to go really inexpensive, guys. Aren't y'all enjoying this? Well, let's get over here to the hardware stuff. Uh, here's a washer and dryer. Those are $579 a piece. And that's the basic, basic. I don't see any cheaper than that. But look at all, it's all well lighted, you know, get you in the shopping mode. The only downside is they run over you with their cleaning equipment and, and the stuff they're moving stuff with. So you can get, see like this right here, that you can buy that whole setup with that mirror for 300 bucks. And all you gotta do is just set it in the bathroom. You got me? You know, here's one right here. Uh, what I'd like to get, I'd rather have instead of just a mirror. See, this has got drawers and stuff. It's 250 bucks. So I'll probably would go with something like this in the bathroom, so they don't have to do anything. You know, what I mean, just set it in there and you're done. Basically, plug it in or hook it up. Here's one, just a countertop. Now here, here's one here. That now here we go. The bottom part is 100 bucks. And the upper part is a hundred bucks and it's got a little medicine cabinet. Will that work for me? Hell yeah. So it's just a hundred bucks. It takes care of the bathroom except the toilet and the shower. And we're working on that now. Here's a toilet for $199. No, no, that's a throne. See, if it's over a hundred bucks, that's a throne. If it's under a hundred bucks, it's a toilet. So let's see here. This is all the medicine cabinets and stuff. And they're not expensive, so I can get all these just pieces see what i mean and stick them in there probably could do most here's one here for 15 bucks a medicine cabinet no kidding that's what he says medicine cabinet 
right there, 15 bucks. Well, I can see why it's 15 bucks. Oh, there it is. It's got little shells in there. Not bad. Huh, 15 bucks. Could I just do that? Sure, that's all I need, man. I don't even need... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Anyway, then you got these fancy deals. That's 150 bucks. Ten times as much. And what have you got? A big shot of Ego, that's all. And now we get to what I want to look at is the tub shower combinations okay this tub is this the whole thing the tub is this oh the tub is the tub is 250 dollars there and then that surround thing is separate and i don't know how much it is because it doesn't say but that's that would definitely work for me there's no spigot for the shower there's no hole never mind See, but look, look, it's got all these boxes in the aisle, man. You can't see crap. See what I mean? <laughs> what is it? Never mind. I'm glad they've got inventory. But I, <laughs> I'd like to see... Never mind. Never mind. I'm biting my tongue here, guys. Okay, where are we at? Shower stuff. Well, here's some... Look at these little miniature tubs. These are, that's a, for your feet. No, those are just a picture of the real thing. They range from $6.99, $7.49. Yeah, that's a cute little tub, but it's not very functional for me. If you just want to look good in a tub, that's different. Okay, what else? Uh, here's all the sink hardware. And uh, I'll find the most basic thing I can find. See, there's one there for $39, and then there's one here for $200. Does the water know any difference? No. Do I know any difference? No. Do I care about the way it looks? No. Yeah, there's some for 99. We might go for something like that. You know, right in here. I don't need that spray. I don't need any of that crap. So, but yeah. And here's the sinks. I want the most basic one they've got. Uh, and, and I just want a single sink, not a double. I just want a single cheapo. We'll find one. If they don't have it here, I'll get it somewhere. Yeah, just and they use whatever I use in the kitchen, I'll use in the bathroom too. Uh, no, all these are too expensive for me. But anyway, guys, you get the drift. What I'm trying to accomplish is just a simple home, low cost that is functional just for me. So what I'm going to do now, when I end this video, is what I'm going to walk around the store and write down some prices. So I, and some model numbers and stuff. So my builder, I'll just hand it to him and say, okay, this is a good guide for what I'm trying to achieve. Because what the builders do, they give you an allowance. You know, so much of an allowance for, you know, like the bathroom for the hardware and the tub and the shower and the flooring and the wall covering. They give you allowances, okay? And uh, I'm, I, I don't want allowances. I, I want to know, I'll, I'll give you the exact thing that I want and then, and then that's we don't have to worry about allowances because whenever if you don't use your allowance let me think where it goes they give you a refund probably not so having said that guys from Lowe's in Marble Falls Texas on a mission here to build my home this is Rusty 786-09 here's a nice shower but it's kind of expensive and uh, yeah anyway guys let me get up here in the video Hello, we're building a home. Anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why I use the link? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. But anyway, see this thing right here, this whole thing, this whole unit right here with the hardware. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't include that hardware. That just this without the hardware is 250 bucks. It's kind of cute. Anyway, guys. Enjoy your life, build your home. Adios, bye bye.